Nina Simone said it best. You have to learn to get up from the table when love is no longer being served. When people stop treating you right, even if you love them, you've got to love yourself enough to remove yourself from unhealthy situations. Malcolm X said that which you do not hate, you will eventually tolerate. You have one job, which is to protect yourself so that you can fulfill your life purpose. Walking away from hurtful people is not punishing them. It's protecting you. So many people tell us hate is too strong of an emotion and that you shouldn't hate anything or anyone. I believe that that is manipulation because you can hate something without, without it occupying you at all times. You can hate the sight of a cicada or a centipede. How does that impede and impose itself on your entire life and reflect itself in your entire life? It's like, I don't even be around them like that. I don't even be outside like that with, with uh, centipedes. Something with a hundred feet just don't jive well with me personally. You're like, oh, I hate those. But then when it comes to people and institutions and things and actions of people, we're like, oh, you know, you should just be more holy and godly and forgiving and overlooking and forbearing and long suffering. No. Malcolm said, what you do not hate, you will eventually tolerate. So when you're looking at all the things that you're not proud of in your relationships and the fact that you're a baby mama with multiple baby daddies and you live in this kind of situation because you work hard and you do the damn thing, but you're always giving and you're always in a position to be exploited. You didn't hate it. You didn't hate it. And so you learned to tolerate it. Um, so much of what has become African-American female culture, and by female, of course, I mean the women and the girls. So, ooh, this isn't nice. This isn't a nice thing to say, okay? Because I talk about African-American male culture, but we're talking about us. This is us. This is us. So much of what we have added to the culture is rooted in our low self-esteem. So much of our family dynamics, ooh, this hurts my feelings, I'm gonna start crying, um, is rooted in low self-esteem. Now, like Nina Simone said, dark skin, Afro-featured, Nina Simone said, when love is no longer being served at the table, you have to be willing to walk away. Are you willing to walk away? The fact that you're not willing to walk away when love is no longer being served at the table, that's not really you being a good, humble Christian, Muslim, Hebrew, Buddhist. That's low self-esteem. Because you can be all those things and walk away gracefully, peacefully, and godly. Christly. You can. What we have going on in our community, both genders, as Dr. Joy DeGree O'Leary called it, I just love her so much, Pacific Northwest black woman like myself. She calls it vacant self-esteem. You don't have low self-esteem. You have no self-esteem. And so many things that have become part of the culture, which are not, you know, they're not deep roots. I would define them more as branches or leaves, you know, or bad fruit, you know. Uh, certainly not the roots. The, the roots of us are, for the most part, they're beautiful, admirable. But, um... Some of these other things that have become part of the culture is rooted in low self-esteem. You have to have low self-esteem to even engage in some of the things we have going on. That's why a lot of African-American people, I mean, Potomac, uh, Talented Tenth, certain elite societies of black people, they won't even do it. They won't even engage. Because you have to have low self-esteem to do it. It's a prerequisite of so many other things that are part of 
our culture. So, with all the things that we talk about online, how do we center putting our self-esteem where it belongs? Because some of us are pretending to have it and we don't, and we can tell by your decisions. We can tell by...